Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America and a longtime Democrat party member and former Democrat lawmaker has left the party. He said he's had enough. Before we get started, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out and they help our channel continue to grow. So Dove Hinkend, who happens to be a friend of mine, has decided to leave the Democrat party, leave them high and dry. But what he says is they've actually abandoned him. As a Democrat party now, you have members of their team that are boycotting speeches by the Israeli president. They're talking against Israel. They're saying all kinds of negative things about Israel, calling it an apartheid state, calling it a racist state. And then they try to walk those comments back, but it's too late. The damage is done. Well, Dove has had it. He's tried to stick in there with the Democrats. He's tried to be a moderate Democrat. But he's had it, and he's done with them. So is his wife. Let's take a look. I have been a lifelong Democrat. My family, my parents. But that's over. That's finished. I have decided to register as a Republican. Unfortunately, the Democratic Party has become so radicalized, so radical, run by the radicals, that people who are moderates or conservative Democrats are not welcomed in the Democratic Party, Shani. And I've had enough. The Democratic Party turns its back on its friends like Israel, the Biden administration, right now, in policy after policy. I'm just tired. I've had enough. It took a long, long time, but I am delighted to join the Republican Party, Shani. As I am. I am totally convinced that this is the right move for you, for me, for, for my friends, all of us who feel that the Democratic Party no longer represents our interests, what we stand for, and our, our, values. Values. our values. See, we said it at the same time. The same word came out the, at the exact same second. This is not a party that represents our values, what we believe in, how we feel about America, its history. This is about sending a message, a message to the Biden administration, a message to the Democratic Party. We're losing the American people because you are not representing our values. You are not representing what the Democratic Party that my parents were so proud of. I have a lot of questions, darling. And I know people have, people have approached you, right? They want, to, they want to know, are you running for office again? Are you, sweetheart? Because if you are, I'm your number one first voter in line to vote for you for whatever you decide uh, well, to run for. Thank you. Thank you. Look, uh, having served for 36 years in the New York State Assembly uh, with the 36 greatest years, the opportunity to be there for people and make a difference is so, so important for me and, of course, for our family. But we shall see. We shall see what the future will bring. We okay. shall see. And God willing, it'll be a good future. Now, this is a man who served about three decades with the Democrats in, in the Assembly in New York. He's done everything for the party. He's been loyal. His parents have been loyal. His family's been loyal. And what does he get for it? These people have betrayed their values. They say they're for the working man, but with the restrictions and regulations they impose on everything and prices skyrocket, who are they really helping anymore? It looks to me more like they're for the rich mega donors than anybody else. It's absolutely ridiculous what they've done. And, and they should be ashamed of themselves. And the hatred, it appears that many of them have for Israel, has just gone off the deep end. I'm not painting the whole party with this brush. You can't say everybody anything. Not all Democrats are anti-Israel. It's a small minority of their party. But you don't see the leadership of that party smacking them down, do you? The other day, when there was a vote after one of their comments calling Israel a racist state, comments that were later walked back, Republicans held a vote in the House to force the issue and to denounce anybody calling Israel a racist or an apartheid state. Well, everybody overwhelmingly voted in favor of that, except for 10 Democrats, one who voted present and nine who voted no. No Republicans voted against that, yet they'll try to tell you that anti-Semitism is coming from the Republican Party. It's ridiculous. It's not true. Dove knows it, and that's why he's joined the Republican Party. I want to say to my friend Dove, welcome. It's so great to have you. He's a great man, a great patriot and a great leader for the Jewish community. Ladies and gentlemen, I want your comments on this story below. Please let me know what you think. 
Also, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.